What's up guys, Jason over here at Cocky Farm and you're beekeeping with rookies. If something should come between us, I promise I will stay, even when we're treading water. What's up guys, Jason over here at Cog Hill Farm, and today we have got to get some uh, honey supers on top of our hives, and so we got to put some frames together, and, and two, we gotta get some wax on these plastic foundations. I bought plastic foundations because I am a rookie. This seems super easy and, and I feel a lot more comfortable using these foundations. But to save money, I bought the ones that don't have wax on them. They do make a wax coated one and I've heard people say that even though they got a wax coating, you need to put more wax on it. So to save money, I bought the non-wax coated and we're gonna put some wax on these. I got some wax that a local beekeeper gave me a long time ago, it's been a long time ago. So I melted it down and I'm gonna take a four inch roller and I'm just gonna roll the wax across these panels or this foundation and then it should dry super quick and then I'll have me a, a waxed panel if y'all know of a better way to do this, please let me know in the comments below. But this is just a little quick research I did and looked pretty easy to me. And we're getting ready for even more bees. Uh, I bought some mediums and Mary Cross putting a cute little color on it. And the paint, uh, we just bought a primer paint mix but we went to like one of these stores like Lowe's or Home Depot and picked up paint that uh, someone had mixed and obviously didn't like the color or whatever it was like two bucks so it was really cheap and I bought the kits for the uh, the mediums which are basically mediums all cut out for you but they're not put together and you can save money that way. Super easy to put together. I mean, way easy to put together. And you can glue the joints, screw them together, and nail it together, and boom, they're put together. But you can save you can save some money by doing that. Another thing that I'm saving money is is I'm using old stuff or used stuff. Uh, this comes from a beekeeper, older beekeeper that, that got out of it, and I got all his stuff. Some of it's in good shape, some of it's in bad shape. Um, he's even got some that are frames meant for this style. He has some meant for sheets that's got the bobby pins in it. And he's got, like this one's broken, but this would have been foundationless with the uh, just the fishing line in it and the bees draw their own comb on it. So he's got all types of stuff. And I literally got all this for free, and I just got boxes of it. And I'm going through it, sorting it out, see what, can, see what I can use. I'm cleaning it up, and if I can use it for this tight foundation, then I'm putting it in there. Another thing is, is I had, when I got those bees down there, y'all know the story how I got them. So I had one hive that we went and got that was totally empty, and it had this uh, comb already drawn out on it. Uh, I saw some signs of some wax moths, so I put it in the refrigerator. I'm refrigerator. I put it in the freezer for a few days, and I took it out, so that killed anything in it. And we're going to use these today as well. So in one box, I kind of got a mixture of the drawn-out hive. I got some of these that we're that we're putting in, and I also ran across some foundationless ones already set up. And I'm putting those in there too, so I'm just using everything I can to try to save money and possibly get some honey going and some bees going. Me and my little buddy, we're gonna go down there and we're gonna add these boxes to the hives that need them. And I had a swarm that I need to add two frames on. Uh, I, I got different advice on that. The first advice I got when I caught a swarm is for me not to touch the box, don't open the box for one week. Then I had people say that, that I needed to go ahead and put the frames in the box immediately and not wait a week. 
So, you know, it's one of those situations on something like that that I'll live and learn and something by experience. And I do plan to do a video probably at the end of this month of my first month of mistakes I made. And so y'all stay tuned for that when it comes out. Oh, <laughs> so I've made some mistakes. But hey, that's all part of it. So there was one thing that I had a question about and I asked Kaylee over there at Honeystead. And that is, should I put those drawn out frames in a different location versus the new frames in the box? And she said, yes, I wanna put the older frames on the outside, the newer frames in the middle, and that will entice them because I'm thinking they start in the middle and go out. So they'll focus on the middle and start drawing combs. So that's what we're gonna do. This one I added a new box to, but we're gonna peek at it and see what it looks like. They are building new uh, comb on this. This is the one we just recently installed a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Those two I just checked, I had added a box on when the first time we checked them in the video a week or two ago. These don't have anything added, so I'm gonna add the box to these. Alright, this is the first swarm we caught, and it looks like it's doing well. Y'all check this swarm out. This thing slapped full of cum. Can y'all see it? Let me get on the other side. The sun is the opposite. So they are really, really working hard on this hive. But it does look like it may be time for an addition. Now here's the swarm we just caught. We caught this one a week ago. Uh, another thing that I did is I took all the feeders off because there's a lot of stuff for the guys to eat now. All the boxes look good for my rookie eye. I didn't go deep into them. All I wanted to do was add boxes that need to be added. I was a little shocked about one that looks pretty healthy, but they really haven't done much on the new box I added. So I may just monitor it. If they don't do much on it, I may take it out because it may be too much room. And from what I gather, if they have too much room, that could cause issues as well. But both swarms were doing pretty darn well. The first one we caught is super strong. The second one didn't have quite as many bees in it, but it still looked good. They're still there, they're making combs, so all that looked great. But no need to add a box on it because they hadn't near about added enough comb on the bottom half. 
to justify me adding a box on the top. But all in all, it looks pretty good to my eye. And two, I was a lot more smooth, I was a lot more slow, meticulous, and you notice the bees didn't go all crazy how they have in the past. <laughs> Plus, I didn't do that much on them either. The last few times we really got in there, uh, took off some burr comb on the top, and from what I gather, anytime you break that comb open, it could drive them insane. So that's another reason they was probably going nuts on me the last time. We have six total hives, and hopefully I can keep them. Also, I've been getting a lot of great advice and help from a local beekeeper who teaches classes and also sells beekeeping supplies and that is Foxhound Bee Company. So if you're interested in any type of beekeeping supplies, check out that link down below and tell them Cockyle Farm sent you.